Hi there. In this video, we will create a JavaScript function that will determine if given number is palindrome or not. So, what exactly palindrome number is? Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. If you start reading from left to right and when you read from right to left, both time it is same. For example, it is 9876. It is not palindrome number. Right. This is string. So obviously that is not a palindrome number. And this is palindrome number. So we will write down a JavaScript function that will return true if it is, it is palindrome number or false if it is not. Okay. Here on leadcode.com we have similar problem palindrome number. The given integer x returns true if it is palindrome false otherwise. So let's start creating the function. Okay. For that I will create ES6 JavaScript function. Okay. Let me log the result console.log. First of all I will paste with a simple number 1 to 1. That is palindrome you can say. Right. Okay. So now what we need to do? We need to create a loop while loop because we need to look through this number okay so while number is greater than zero what we have to do first of all we need to use number modulo 10 okay so we need to divide number by 10 and the remainder value we need to store in one variable let's say remainder is one variable let me initialize that variable above okay so we will use this remainder variable after some time okay after that we will use a parse integer function okay what this function is doing it is converting a string into an int integer okay so parse integer number divided by 10 okay and we will overwrite the value of number is equal to number divided by 10 parse integer so we are overriding this number value with number divided by 10 okay and the result we will store in another variable let's say called final okay final is equal to final because we are using loop final is equal to final into 10 okay plus remainder value so let me initialize final variable as well with value 0 because we are adding this value okay so what we are doing we are adding final into 10 plus remainder okay so now we have final variable value okay now we need to compare this final variable with actual number we don't have actual number at this point of time right so what we have to do we have to initialize one variable temp is equal to number and we can initialize this variable temp here okay so temp is equal to number so here after while loop we can write down one condition if final value is equal to temp that is our actual number then we will return true that is random number okay else return false okay so let's see if it is working in our case or not okay so let me open a console and yeah we can see it is returning true for 1 to 1 okay here i am adding to 0 and let's see yeah, it is returning false so let's test with other inputs 1 2 3 2 1 that is true okay let's take 9 8 7 6 that is also false let me try with some string that is false and let's try with this last number and that is true 5 6 7 8 9 8 7 6 5 yep that is parent of number okay so it is working for almost all the cases so let's copy this function and 
paste it here so we can see if it is returning the correct value okay let me run the code and it should return true yep it is the correct answer one to one is the input and output is true okay so here uh, there are some other test cases we can use minus 121 and let's run the code it should return accepted yeah it is expected output false that is also correct and let's test with 10 and it should result it should return false because that is not random number yep that is false okay so i think that's the very simple and basic javascript program to check if the given number is palindrome or not it is simple but sometimes you might be asked to create such a javascript function in your interviews or um, when you are giving any online exams it it may be possible all right okay guys that's all for this video if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel there are many other videos on css3 javascript wordpress and node.js and if you have any questions or any comments you can leave your comments below all right thank you